Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about the healer tier sets in War Within Season 1. Which ones are good, which ones are bad, we're going to see that in this video. We are starting with Mistweaver Monk, the 2 piece set bonus increases the healing of your enveloping mist and renewing mist by 10% and the 4 piece bonus vivify extends the duration of renewing mist and enveloping mist on its primary target by 2 seconds up to 4. Now, all things considered, Renewing Mist and Enveloping Mist are not your primary sources of healing. Of course, you use them all the time in dungeons, but buffing them by 10% is actually negligible. And then, in order to trigger your 4 piece tier set bonus, you have to cast your vivifies on specific targets that already have the hot sticking on them. That makes the tier set bonus quite mediocre, a little bit clunky to play with, so I think we can very easily put this one into the C tier. My favorite Restoration Shaman has 2 set PS bonus, Tidal Waves increases the healing of affected spells by 10% and the 4 piece Tidal Waves is 80% more effective and reduces the mana cost of affected spells by 8%. Now call me biased but this set is actually amazing. You're using Tidal Waves all the time, not to mention that Farseer Shaman can stack Tidal Waves to up to 4 times instead of just 2 and you're selecting one spells to use them on to get the extra healing. On top of that Tidal Waves is more effective and you get the mana cost reduction which is actually huge for the Shaman spamming chain heals as Shaman is probably one of the last classes that actually uses mana to heal compared to some of the other healing classes where this is just a bar that stands there and never goes below 90%. So all of this is hitting the right spots, you have the freedom to use the spells on whatever you deem necessary and for me that's a very easy S tier. Next up is the Restoration Druid, the 2 set bonus, Regrowth, Wild Growth and Swiftman healing is increased by 10% and the 4 piece bonus, your healing is increased by 8% when consuming Soul of the Forest bonus and for 6 seconds afterwards. The 2 piece is actually pretty good because those are spells that you're using all the time. Soul of the Forest is the spell with increased healing that you cast after you've used Swiftman so that's also pretty good. Not to mention that there is new druid talent that allows you to have 2 charges of swiftman instead of just 1. So this is going to fit the playstyle quite nicely and makes the tier set very solid option. However, I feel like the 4 piece tier set bonus is a little bit weaker than it should be, 8% is not that much although it's all healing and 6 seconds is also not that long so I think that just puts it short of S and we're gonna put this into the A tier. But I don't think it would be wrong if we put it into the S as well. Preservation Evoker. To set piece bonus, reversion and emerald blossom heal an injured ally within 30 yards for 10% of any amount healed. And 4 piece verdant embrace increases the healing of your next reversion by 200%. This set is also one of the weird ones because I guess the Emerald Blossom buff is going to be good in rate if you're running that kind of build but in Mythic Plus the 2 set bonus is basically negligible. As for the 4 piece bonus that's another interaction that you need to worry about with Verder Embrace because usually you want to combine that with your Dream's Breath. At the same time the increased healing for reversion is actually quite nice but it doesn't replicate with Echoes it only affects one reversion spell. So yeah, it's a nice bonus but you're not necessarily always going to trigger it and that makes me put the set down probably to the C tier as well. I would say it's probably a little bit better than the monks but it's still down there. The good old holy paladin. The 2 set piece bonus holy shock healing is increased by 10% and the cooldown is reduced by 10% and the 4 piece Holy Shock increases the initial healing of your next Word of Glory or Light of Down by 8% and that stacks up to 4 times. Now all of this feels pretty damn good because this is exactly what the spec needs. It's only healing for the Holy Shock, we need to know that, but the cooldown is reduced so you get to use it more often, it heals for more and it buffs your next healing Holy Light Spender which is exactly where the Holy Paladin is lacking. 
Now, I use the word need because the spec is not in a good spot right now and it definitely needs some buffs which unfortunately come in the form of a tier set bonus. These should probably be base improvements and then we can get some more interactive and fun to play with tier set so we can put this into the A tier but actually it's a pretty good set so I think this deserves to go into the S as this tier set actually has the potential to pull the Holy Paladin from the deep hole that it's currently at during Season 4 of Dragonflight. Let me note that Priest is the only class that I haven't managed to play M plus yet in the War Within beta but this is not going to prevent us from ranking the tier set bonuses. For Discipline Pleased, the 2 set bonus Atonement Healing is increased by 5%. And the 4 piece bonus, Smite and Penance increase the damage of your next Mind Blast by 25% or the absorb amount of your next Power Word Shield by 15% stacking up to 3 times. Now the 2 piece bonus is actually quite fine, 5% healing is 5% healing, we're gonna take it, but the 4 piece bonus is a little bit weird. You're going to get those 3 stacks pretty quickly and yes you can use them on Mind Blast to increase your next damaging spell but Mind Blast has a cooldown so obviously you won't be able to use those 3 stacks on Mind Blast all the time. Your other option is to use them on your shields but that's a button that we're definitely not using all the time or pressing on cooldown so you probably end up standing at 3 stacks for long periods of time without fully utilizing them which kinda takes away from the value of this 4 piece bonus. So all things considered I think it's going to be fine to put this into the B tier as it's ok set but it's definitely lacking some in the design department. Holy Priest for dessert, the 2 piece set bonus increases the bonus of serendipity by 10%. This is the cooldown reduction that you get to your Holy Word spells when you cast some of the other relevant spells and the 4 piece bonus Heal, Flash, Heal and Prayer of Healing have 50% chance to cast again on 35% effectiveness. Now the 2 piece set bonus doesn't sound that amazing because 10% is actually not a lot. You're usually reducing the cooldowns by anything between 4 and 6 seconds and 10% of that is going to be somewhere in the range of kinda like a half a second or a fraction of a second. And that's not a lot. Yes, you're gonna be casting your Holy Words a little bit more often, but the cooldown reduction that you're getting from the 2 set bonus is definitely not a lot. The 4 piece bonus is actually quite fine, 50% is quite a nice rate to do 35% more healing and it will definitely feel nice, but if we compare this to let's say the Druid set, I think Holy Priest definitely needs to be one tier lower, so we'll simply have to put it into the B. So here you go, this is your final ranking for the tier sets of the healers in Season 1 of The War Within. Let me know if you like or dislike them in the comments below, are you looking to play with some of them? I'll see you guys in the next video, now get out of here.